Yes, sir. The time for your next lesson is upon us. You are keeping well, I trust. Taking the occasional brisk walk? One cannot form sound thoughts if one fails to maintain a sound body. Now, assuming you've been following Kilia's instructions, you should be ready to face the more dangerous threats found in Western Lonosa. I speak of roselings and wild jackals, and yes, I would have you vanquish three of each. Okay, good. Speaking of which, I trust your strategy will consist of more than simply flinging ruin over and over again. You are not the novice you once were. Your skills in the field ought to reflect that. If you find yourself wanting for other approaches, consider an assault with ruin in tandem with your attacks from your carbuncle. When timed appropriately, you can deal a crippling blow to your opponent. And that we shall. I mean, I could just teleport to Swift Purge. It's only 196 skill. And we're not exactly using our gill for anything else right now. All right, so what do we got to do? Jackals and Roselings. If only I had picked this up earlier. <laughs> All right, Rosling, come here. Let me demolish you real quick. Destroyed. <laughs> I love that ability. It's awesome. <clears throat> All right, let's get our carbuncle running. I mean, the Roselings are pretty easy. They're only level 10. We can pretty easily destroy them. Oh, jump! Parkour! I wonder if I can get a new hat. That's a bit better. I don't think the abilities are gonna be better, though. At least they didn't seem to be. Alright, so that's Roselings down. Now to just face the Jackals. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I just summoned a new card. Like <laughs> Good! Good. I'm sure that was useful in some way. I'm not sure what way, but whatever works. Jackal, please, fight the Jackal. I implore you, destroy the jackal. Yeah, we're looking fine. I should probably use my shield though, but whatever. I'm sure I'm going to jackal, be gone! And you are about to be destroyed. Be gone, jackal! <laughs> oh, I love that. That's great. Welcome back, sir. How did it feel to conquer such ferocious foes? Let us ride the wave of triumph onto an even more demanding and dangerous challenge. Your next training exercise will have you accompanying Forseer Kilia on one of her inspections. This experience will afford you the opportunity to witness firsthand the practical application of Arcanima. Pray do not tarry. Kilia awaits you on the floor below with further details. Sure. Floor below. The floor floor below. This way? Maybe. Okay, let's just, let's just run. <laughs> Away we go. Oh. Training field of sorts? That's kind of cool. Look at all these people training their carbuncles. <clears throat> A timely appearance, as I expected. Shall we proceed directly to the job at hand? I have been tasked with examining the wares of a goblin peddler caravan run by the Boyle Stocks family. Our agents suspect these beastmen merchants of dealing in forbidden goods. As such, I have calculated that announcing an inspection has a 60% chance of inviting physical violence. I have prepared a strategy to respond to this possible shift in hostiles. Hostilities. English. What? <laughs> but there is an important precondition you should be made aware of before we discuss the finer points of my plan. Though I am considered gifted in the formation of tactics, I lack the reflexes and coordinations necessary to employ many of those self-same strategies on the field of battle. Pray keep this factor in mind and adjust, adjust English, <laughs> adjust your perceptions accordingly. I mean, it's fine. I got it. Now, should the goblins offer battle, you are to execute combat pattern one, three, four, five otherwise known as Stratagem Focus Fire. So you're saying attack them. Got it. And she disappeared. <laughs> oh, jeez. So now what? We're gonna fight some beastmen? Some goblins of sorts? Don't mind if I do. Oh, parkour. Kill ya? I'm here. 
Yes, yes, let's commence battle. Level 14. I'm like three levels above. We got this. I am Forseer Kilia of Malavin's Mal Malavon's Gate. You are to cease all transactions and surrender your goods for inspection. Well, I mean, if you're going to come into a hostile manner like that, of course he's going to be hostile back. What do you expect? Nasty, sneaky peekers. Gobby spit uplander nosy eyes on stabby iron. She said he was going to stab us. <laughs> a predictability, aggressive response. Well, you were also aggressive in your manner in which you approached it. Of course he was going to be aggressive back. Kill you. We need to have a conversation. Very well, sir. Remember what we discussed. Fight. Yeah. I think he just wanted to see me fight them. Focus fire. Got it. I can do it. Take this pull down. Take this pull down. They never knew what hit him. I feel alive. <laughs> nice. <gasps> She's got a Topaz Carbuncle. I don't have that one. Yeah, evasive mode. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. They're all attacking me anyways. I can say let's fight a different one, but... That's pretty good. There we go. Why was that guy purple? What's the difference? Is the one guy stronger? There we go. She can just keep the Topaz Carpenter up at all times? Why do I have to summon them slowly? I guess she is more skilled. That would be awesome. This and then take you with this and then get ready to strike you back with that. <laughs> Target swapping! Oh yeah. Where did you even go? Madam? Where'd she go? <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> she just disappeared off the battlefield. Nicely done. Adaptation, improvisation. I might have been observing our beloved guildmaster himself in action. This was the perfect example of how the strategy for a given task should be tailored to the abilities of the assessor. In other words, before you begin formulating your tactics, it is necessary to fully understand your own strengths and weaknesses. On that note, there is another question I would ask you. When it comes to improving the probable success of a strategy, do you consider it more effective to concentrate on playing to your strength or shoring up your weaknesses? How do you exactly cover a weakness if not enhance your strength? It makes sense to cover your weakness so then you can Enhance your strength. These are like the same, the same difference. Oh, again you respond as the guildmaster once did. I must advise the probability for your potential to a sane greatness to 97%. You are one to keep an eye on, that much is certain. But to return to the subject of battle plans, your calculations must include an accurate assessment of your available techniques and their relative effectiveness. This requires you to be critically aware of your own limits, the limits of your allies, and the characteristics of your enemies. I believe that covers everything today. Please return to the guild and make your report to Mistress. I shall abide here until the Yellow Jackets arrive to take the peddlers into custody. My strategies will keep me company, as well as this mandragora. <laughs> He's like, hey yo, what's going on over here? I'm just checking it out. Don't mind me. Back from the field, sir. Kilia contacted me with a summary of events. It seems you were treated to a lecture on knowing thyself. That particular lesson is ordinarily taught only to intermediate practitioners. Without a sufficient store of combat experience from which to draw, it is difficult to fully appreciate the profundity of such a seemingly simple truth. Nevertheless, I feel confident that you will soon be ready for a more ambitious task. Keep to your studies and maintain the razor edge of your mind. Considering the dedication you have shown towards our discipline, I have decided to permit you to leave. Permit you leave to explore the teachings offered by other guilds. Oh, so I can learn other stuff now. I would suggest, however, that you first master the science of Arcanuma. The strategic teaching you receive here will serve you well no matter the path you eventually choose to walk. You now have access to the armory system. Quests to unlock the other classes can be undertaken by speaking to the receptionist in the corresponding guild. So if I ch decided that I didn't like 
the arcanist, I could choose to take on one of the other classes. That's awesome. There exist myriad disciplines in Eorzea. The adventurers can take up. For the most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended that you focus on mastering your current class. I can get a different colored hat, or I can just go for the money. I mean, it's a different colored headpiece, so what if I just go for it? Gear sets. Allow you to save several different combinations of equipment and swap to them at your leisure. A button for the gear set interface is located in the upper portion. I mean, I like them equally not at all. <laughs> all right, Guildmaster, what else do you have for us? <gasps> I can summon Topaz. You seemed tired, sir. Are you sleeping properly? One's reasoning can suffer without sufficient rest and recuperation. Should you deem yourself fit for duty, pray make your way down to the practice floor. Kill ya. I'm ready. Let's go, Topaz, activate. Woohoo. There is, however, a requirement for your participation. The Foreseer will explain the situation. Okay. I was beginning to think I'd miscalculated, sir. Thank you for coming. I will soon be boarding a trading vessel suspected of smuggling. All merchant ships that make use of limp supports are subject to inspection by Maelvon's gate assessors. It is a routine I perform daily. In the case of smugglers, however, there is a 75% probability of encountering resistance. Thus, I would appreciate your company during this assignment. It is now that we must discuss the requirement of which you were informed. Though I have full confidence in your martial expertise, it is imperative that you first acquire the ability to summon Topaz Carbuncle. Such knowledge will be released to you. Cog cognizant on your acceptance of his duty. English. <laughs> I'm challenging my knowledge of how to speak, and it is ugh. very good. The arcane entity given form by the topaz geometry will further expand your offensive capabilities. In other words, I have acquired topaz. <laughs> With such an ally at your command, even the harshest of enemies will falter before you. Indeed, we cannot conduct these dangerous spot inspections without its support. Please, return to Mistress Thubergrrrr and inform her of your participation. I will join you once I have completed some final adjustments. Sure. So, Topaz acquired, potentially helping Kilia with some kind of weirdness. And if there's a 75% chance of her being attacked, then that is probably like a 95% chance that it's going to happen. Or so the mouth math calculates. You have agreed to accompany the Foreseer, then I shall gladly instruct you in the use of Topaz Carbuncle. Pray, do not hesitate to employ this entity in combat should the inspection turn sour. Sweet. Topaz Carbuncle. So, do I just have Topaz now? Ba, 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 ba. Summon Topaz. So I get both Topaz and Ruby upon the activation of Aether Charge. So does this gem shine ability just activate both? Or do I just summon one and attack with it and summon the other? Can I just summon them both and attack with both? All I know now is I have like stronger carbuncles. The mercenaries Geisfrein and Ertholsta are here to assist with the inspection. What's up dudes? You're a marauder. Pretty cool. I don't know what this other guy is. Conjurer? It's probably a healer. Weird mustache. Anyways, it's as weird as my hat. Both are old hands when it comes to escorting Kilia during her more dangerous duties. Well met, sir. My spells are at your disposal. This won't be the first time we're expecting trouble, but as long as we follow the Forseer's tactics, and keep a clear head, we'll continue through just fine. I say let's do it. I'm ready to fight. The Morning Star is preparing to dock in Aleport. We will meet our first challenge, however, before we even board the vessel. It is almost a certainty that the merchant ship has hired a thug or two to, us, to accost us at the pier. I calculate the probability at 98%. The crew wish to avoid attacking us on deck, you see as that would all be trumping their criminal intentions to the world at large. Now, once we do manage to clear the rails, we will face a deck crowded with armed sailors. For a small party such as ours, the most effective strategy will be to incapacitate individual foes as swiftly as possible. I think I understand. Just t t take them down. Got it. Strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into the desired reality. Keep those words in mind, sir. It is time we departed. Let us regroup before the main gates of Aleport. 
Strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into the desired reality. What a more advanced way could you put it? <laughs> Wait, you're leaving without me. I'm on my way. Where's Aleport? I need to go south out of Western Nose. Uh... Oh, it's a little outside of Swift Perch, though. Okay, let us get out of here. Don't go. Oh, get out of here. Oh. Leave me be, buzzard. I haven't. Bring it, crab. <laughs> I'm gonna take you down. <laughs> Old six arms. The crab. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Oh. Okay, so I just summoned one carbuncle at a time. Take my earth damage. I can't really escape like that. I wonder if I could summon them both. Nice. Fight the crab. Don't, don't move it. Attack with it. <laughs> Jeez. Fight the crab. Like this. Yeah. I'm gonna die out of here. Oh. Be gone, crab! So if I stay close, it's easy to avoid, right? Oh, God. He's gonna... There we go. I was gonna say, it seemed like he was gonna summon. Right. I can summon both card weapons. No, I can only summon. What happens if I summon the second one? Oh, it just stops this. I just, I just needed my summoning crystal in order to attack with him. That's all right. Nice crab, damn sucker! <laughs> that was kind of cool. Like fighting the random giant fools. Let us be about our task, sir. Pray inform the steersman at the pier that we are ready to conduct our inspection. Should violence be offered, you are to execute Stratagem Hammerfall. Do not forget, your tactics are both your shield and your weapon. Let's activate the Choco Keep while we're at it. Noise. And let's grab the Aetherite. What's up, Moogle? Mm, Koopo. All right, now we're attuned to this. And we're running, what, all the way over? Are we going upwards? Sir, there's no need to attack, but you're probably going to do that anyways. You're the folks from Malevin's Gate? Ah, hells, I knew there'd be trouble. Trouble? I didn't think this was trouble, but whatever you say, I'll just demolish my friends here and, uh, <laughs> protect myself into territory of the Sir, please, just... You're making yourselves look bad, alright? I like how I'm fighting this myself. <laughs> yeah. You want to, uh, rethink that? Well then, I'm certainly glad to see you can handle yourself. You'll find the landing boat just down here at the end of this ramp. I'll have no part of what comes next, though. Thank you. Where's the boat? Bring me the boat! I'm ready. My carbuncles are ready. Like I was a waiting prompt. Ooh, duty calls. Level 19. Not quite there yet, but I'm ready to go. Deftly handled, sir. Once again, I am reminded of our guildmaster. Thanks to your efficient response, we will be able to commence this inspection earlier than I had calculated. We shall board the merchant vessel out in the bay. Air Stolda, if you would take the rudder, the Morning Star awaits. The morning star of the vessel we're going to? Ooh. If only it were a ghostly vessel. It shall be more fitting. Oh, that's awesome. There's like nobody aboard. Might as well be a ghost ship. They're probably under the deck, though.
look at it. Since their welcoming party at the pier failed to deter us, I expect, with a probability of 85%, that our arrival will incite further belligerence. Probably. Our objective, however, is not to trade blows, but to gain access to the hold. It may behoove us to employ stratagem hardhead. The aim of our opponents is to buy time so that that suspect goods may be tossed into the ocean. I do not intend to give them that time. We will bull our way towards the cargo hold as quickly as we can. So don't get caught up in fighting. Go straight for the goal. It is a tactic fraught with risk, but one that your presence makes possible. Shall we begin? Let's go. I'll keep us healed. I mean, Conjurer should be doing that, but I shall help, and then we shall take these fools down. <laughs> Bring it. Who is that? At that twos, though. Is that a Sahagin? I am Forseer Kilia. By the authority of Maelvon's Gate, I request that you surrender your goods for assessment. Well, now, your timing couldn't be worse, lass. The old door is all rusted up, you see. Bloody thing won't open. You'll have to come back another day after we've fixed the inges. I will see that cargo now. Any vessel entering a port of Limsa is bound by law to submit to a routine inspection. Oh, and there's the crew. <laughs> Look at his giant axe. <laughs> the law, is it? Lads, I reckon it's our time that the guests had themselves a little accident. Pitch him over the side. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> I like how I step out front. Shouldn't the marauder be up front? <laughs> Not me. I, mean, I don't care either way, but... Defeat the crew. Okay, so I have to defeat the crew as quickly as possible. Okay, what is going on? What What is going on? Oh, jeez. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I summoned them. I already had summoned. Oh. I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. It's like I don't know what I'm doing. You're gonna go. Why is this guy being attacked? Can you just like... Kill yourself, please, sir. <laughs> Most amazing topaz. Oh, look at that crystal attack. Oh, it is amazing. Really? Okay. attack? Fire carbuncle. Okay. I'm missing the target. Got it. <laughs> I'm like, am I not going to do that? What's going on? Come on. This. Can I not attack? What am I targeting? I need to get my targeting down a bit better. This fool can go down as well. And then you can go down. Let's get our carbuncles ready. Wait, who's healing him? Is he himself? He definitely just healed. Oh, there's the Morning Star fool. Should he be the one I'm fighting? I think it's the Navigator. He's looking like a big boy. Yeah, we'll take it down to the road. <laughs> 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 too slow. Nice. There goes him. Oh, it's complete. <laughs> that was chaos. But we achieved.
blow down the doors. A masterful display, sir. Now we can finally gain access to their cargo. What is the glowing green? What? <laughs> you okay? Oh, she bumped her head. The heck was that? What have we here then? It's one of the admiral's lap dogs a scampering about me ship. Oh, big axe, dude. You're just like your mistress, always sticking your nose in where it ain't invited. No, it can't be. Can't be what? Ha! Recognize me pretty face, did ye? Nope. But you were caught, exiled. Well, I'm back. <laughs> Forseer, are you hurt? Can you stand? Stay back. You stay away from me. Who is it? Forseer, please, calm down. What are your orders? She's lost her head. I've had enough of your whimpering, and I've certainly had enough of these bloody books. It's clear you ain't learning anything from them. Wait, is he the leader? Is that why we don't have a... He just threw it in the ocean. He became a marauder? Reckon it's team English, different kind of lesson. <laughs> Wait, was that our old clan leader? Is that what's going on there? Kilia, Nofika, preserve us. She's fainted. We must withdraw. Don't withdraw, leader. It's fine. Let's fight. Sir, quickly, back to the boat. We'll carry the force. Sure, if we must. I. That's right. Ye slink back on to where your mistress. Ye worthless curs. <laughs> what the hell was that? Are you okay? We'll take care of Kilia. You'd best return to the Arcanist Guild and report to the mistress. Mistress, Kilia fainted, and there was some pirate with an axe. He threw a book in the ocean. It's good to see you well, sir. Guy's friend sent word ahead of your tra travails. Tra travails. English. An unfortunate turn of events, but considering the infamous Blackheart you faced, you might have fared much worse. Blackheart? Have you heard of the pirate Dosmoga? He was exiled from Linsa some years ago, but it appears he has chosen to defy the Admiral's orders. And once more he dares lay a hand on Forseer Kilia, the poor lass must have been terrified. If I had known Dos Maga was aboard that ship, I never would have assigned her that duty. The assessor may require some time to recover. For Kilia, that man is a nightmare made of flesh. So it seemed. Though her physical wounds will soon mend, there is little we can do to salve the hurt to her mind. You are concerned? Angry, mayhap? Harness that energy and channel it into your training. I predict we shall be needing your skills again. Not sure what that was, but... Just take this new piece of gear that I'm changing over after just having it to begin with. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Level up. Level 18. Ooh, I got swift cast. Next spell is cast immediately. Ooh. I like it. I mean, these ones are already like swift casts, but I could activate my gem shine a bit faster. So let's shift them over. Yeah, I think we'll run it that way. Unless I need to cast a sleep faster. That's always possible. Let's check out our new cloak. Hey, it's red. It's devilish. So what does it take to continue them? Pincer maneuver. Uh, it requires level 20. So two more levels. That's not too bad. Yeah, that was weird though. So who is this Dosmaga? And why is Kilia so afraid of him? It gets curiouser and curiouser, doesn't it?